everyone, welcome back. Or if you're new, my name is Kirielle. Welcome, I hope you stay. Today this is quite a chill video. With all the quarantine going on, I've been doing quite a bit of makeup. And with that comes a lot of cleaning of my makeup brushes. <laughs> but I just kind of let it stack up and then I had a massive pile of brushes that I needed to wash. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. This is gonna be a lot of sped up clips. There's a lot of clickety kind of noises in this video as well. So if you enjoy that, then you're welcome. <laughs> if you've got any dirty brushes at home, why don't you clean them along with me? <laughs> I just wanted to show you how I do it. So I use a little machine that you can buy. I've got a cheap one off eBay, but the original one is called the Style Pro. You have this thing that spins your brushes around and it cleans them and then dries them at the same time. So they're ready for use pretty much straight away afterwards. I like using this to clean my brushes just because I know they're fully clean, but they're ready to use as well. So I don't have to, you know, wait hours to then reuse them. This little device helps me do that. Yeah, before we get into cleaning my brushes, if you're new, I'd love it if you subscribed. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. At the moment, I'm uploading every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, so I'm uploading a little bit more than usual because quarantine. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoy all the things that I make up, why not join in? This makeup, by the way, you might have seen it in a previous video. I'm actually filming a tutorial, I'm doing a video where I do three looks with the Mitchell palette, and this is one of them. So another reason to subscribe so you get notified when this goes up. <laughs> Anywho, less of the chit chat, let's get right on in to cleaning my brushes. So the first thing I like to do is I like to have a towel ready. So what I do is I roll it up and put it to the side. Some brushes the Style Pro can't really dry, so I like to have a towel rolled up ready. This is my first time using this. Usually I'll just use hand soap, but this is a brush cleaner by Unicorn Cosmetics and it's called Liquid Magic. And may I just say, it smells amazing. And then I have these two bowls. I've got two bowls because I originally had the original Style Pro and that actually broke on me with my first use of it. So. I have the bowl from that and then I also have a new one from a cheaper eBay one that I bought which is still going strong. And then I've also got my Style Pro and it comes with these little rubber adjusters that fit round different handle brush sizes. I also have just a bar of pear soap. I use it for more saturated brushes. These are mainly like foundation brushes if I've used any cream products. And then I also have this cute little unicorn rubber cleaner thing. So it's textured so it really gets into the bristles. So I'm just gonna add the liquid soap into the containers and then add water. And then we're pretty much ready to go. And here is the mass of brushes that I need to clean. <laughs> They've been collecting for quite a while. So now I've tipped them all out, I'm just separating them and just sorting them out into sizes. And once I've done that, I then sort out the handle size because we have different ones. I have ones that are more pointed and then other ones that are more thick around the bottom. So I just separate them ready. First off, I'm starting with the more saturated brushes and I'm going in, I'm just dipping them into the water, swirling them around with the solid soap and then I'm just setting them to the side. Just let the soap sit a little bit and start eating away at the product just to make it easier to clean.
So first of all I take the brush and I just dunk it a few times into the water to pick up some of the soap and then I click on the brush and it just spins round. And once I think the brush is clean, I lift it up and just let it spin around for about a minute. And this is just drying the brush now. When I think it's going to be about dry, I just kind of hover my hand around the surrounding air to see if there's any water being flicked off. And once the air feels dry, I pretty much know it's done, so I can just turn it off, do a once over on the brush, and then set it aside. And it's all done and ready to be used again. And I pretty much do this with all of the brushes, just switching out the rubber adapter to fit the different sized handles. And yeah, that's all I need to do. You can just now enjoy watching me do this. <laughs> some brushes that I can't really clean the Style Pro with and it's usually the flat brushes just because when they spin they don't flare out so they can't dry off as easily. So this is where my towel on the side comes in. I just roll it out a little bit and just kind of swirl the brush lightly on the towel. Don't push too hard because you'll ruin the brush that way. Once I've done that I set it off to the side and I keep the towel slightly rolled up so it's on an angle and all the water slips off the end of the brush instead of going into the ferrule. If that happens it can loosen the glue on your brush and then it can break apart and be damaged quicker. Always make sure if you're drying your brushes to have them facing at an angle so all the water just runs away from the glue.
Okay, so here are all my clean brushes, finally. I took quite a few breaks in doing these, so it's taken me a lot longer than what I wanted it to, but that's fine. <laughs> they're all clean and now ready to use, and they're all dry, and it just makes it so speedy and quick to do it this way. Well, when, you know, I'm not taking 5,000 breaks. <laughs> but now I can just put them into their holders, and they're all ready and fresh for me to use. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a very chill one, but it's nice to just stand still and chill for a little while. If you're new, I hope you decide to subscribe. You know what you need to do. And on that note, I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.